Hey man, I smell your cooking. Let me get some of that. Damn, hold on real quick. Hey yo, it do look good though. You're so greedy. So I got these chicken breasts that I cleaned up and I'm just gonna butterfly them. Slice them right down the back here. Just like that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with my audio, so I'm gonna use this time to encourage you guys to go to my website, www.thechefmadeexperience.com. You can also find the link in the bio. So for the breading, we gonna season it the same way we season the chicken with. Everybody get the same seasonings. Gonna put the herbs in there. The pack of breadcrumbs, I'm gonna put a little bit more herbs, just for the color. Some black pepper. Only thing different is I'm gonna add a little bit of salt this time. Yes, all right, so I got my chicken breast, it's all seasoned up. I'm gonna go into it with the flour. Both sides, shake that off a little bit. We gonna make a mess, that's what I do. Into the egg wash. Well, it's not really egg wash. What we call this? It's the batter, I guess, all right? All right, then we're gonna go into our seasoned bread crumbs. I'm using panko breadcrumbs because I like the crunch that they give. But you can use whatever type of breadcrumbs you want. They got Italian breadcrumbs, seasoned, unseasoned. Both sides. That's what we got so far. All right, we're gonna get this thing in that pan and we're gonna make a sizzle. It looks hot enough. Yeah, that's good. So while this chicken is cooking, I got these onions sauteing as well that I'm gonna use for this experiment that I'm serving with. All right, let's give it a flip. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay, okay. I'm gonna add some butter to this. I know it's a little bit weird. I wanna give this uh, a nice buttery bite. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Then we're gonna start working on this cream sauce. So I have the same pan, I'm gonna saute a little bit of garlic in. And I'm just gonna add some baby spinach to this. To this as well, I'm gonna add a couple packs of butter, my garlic sage seasoning. Pepper, same seasoning, same seasoning. These flavors are amazing, if it's right, why switch it up? Go ahead and saute that down a little bit. The butter's gonna break down the spinach as well. Start incorporating all these flavors into that spinach and garlic, and the, especially that garlic sage seasoning. I'm gonna add this chicken stock and some heavy cream. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it reduce down to a simmer. Once I do that, then I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese to it. Y'all see that? Ooh. Get that a little mix. All right, that's looking good right there. Okay, so here I got my prosciutto laid down. I got some asparagus that I sauteed, I'm sorry, that I blanched in a little bit of salt water. I'm gonna add a piece of cream cheese to each one of these and some sauteed onions, just like that. Here I wanna add some southern heat seasoning to it. This is gonna give it that spice element. Plus I got all those flavors in it, those peppers, onions. Woo. Let's start rolling it like that. There we go. Okay, that'll work. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay, in goes the asparagus. All right, so we got the asparagus looking good. Woo! Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Huh. Let's get out another minute right there. Then we gonna plate. Oh yeah, we got the spinach cream sauce. There we go. Let's go in with the asparagus. We're gonna finish it off with some nice Parmesan cheese. And there we go, my guy. Oh, man. What y'all say? Hey, mama, about this. Did I do something? Let's guessing. More cooking. Come and get you some.